of you uh, came today thinking you're uh, going to hear a particular announcement. Uh, several years ago, uh, we started this endeavor to create uh, single chip mobile application processors. And the reason why we did that was because we felt that the future of computing would come in all kinds of varieties. The PC will still be amazing computers. As we just mentioned, the cloud will become a very important computer. Your data center is going to play a greater and greater role in how you and I enjoy our daily computing experience. But we also felt that everything will very likely become a connected computer. Your cell phone, obvious. Tablet, it is obvious now. But your car will become a computer. As you see, the LG television is a computer. All of these devices needs to be powered by sophisticated, low-power mobile processors. And so we started the effort uh, several years ago, and we introduced, and we thought that performance was really important that these operating systems need performance, that resolution requires performance, and so we, we took the lead in building faster and faster mobile processors. We introduced Tegra 2. At the time, people thought we were kind of crazy. Why would you need a dual-core processor for a mobile processor? And if, if that wasn't crazy enough, why don't we made it make uh, Tegra 3, the world's first quad-core? And each generation, each generation, uh, we took a performance leadership position. Well, ladies and gentlemen, today, uh, to probably great surprise to all of you, <laughs> I'd like to introduce the Tegra 4. Yeah. <laughs> Tegra 4, Tegra 4 uh, is nearly, nearly the worst kept secret. Um, and the reason, the reason for that is because we, uh, we, uh, uh, we had to start talking to our customers about it, and the enthusiasm became so great uh, around, around its introduction that, that um, uh, specs of Tegra 4 floated everywhere. And we in immediately received uh, quite a bit of questions. The first question is, how much performance does a cell phone need? I'm reading books fine. I'm listening to music fine. My UI is just fine. I'm reading magazines fine. Everything works. Movies work. Everything seems to work. How much performance does anybody need in these mobile devices? Well, if you ask us, we need a lot more performance. We just need a lot more performance. And here today, I'm here to prove it to you. I'm here to prove to you that we need a lot more performance. Tiger 4 has 72 <laughs> GPU cores. This thing is flooded with GPU cores. I just wish we could flood even more GPU cores in here. Um, the second thing is it is the world's first quad-core A15. Quad-core A15, which is ARM's new CPU architecture, and um, quite a bit faster than our last generation. We still have our power-saving core, this low-power core that hums along, sips little bits of power when you're mostly doing low computing requirement work while you're reading a book or uh, just browsing the website or something like that. And then, of course, every mobile processor in the future will have to be connected. And 4G is obviously the next step. It includes a 4G, NVIDIA's first 4G LTE modem. Now, the first thing, the first question I'd like to answer is how fast does fast have to be? How fast does fast have to be? And, and why is it that we're not fast enough? And so uh, to, to show you, I would like to bring out the fastest tablet, uh, Android tablet in the world today. And, uh, and um, uh, what, let's, put it, let's put it to a foot race on doing something that, that is very, every day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to show you two tablets, one Nexus 10, the Samsung ne Nexus 10, and the second uh, one with Tegra 4. And they're going to go through and load 25 web pages. 25 web pages. And I don't know how many of you 
are out there that wish loading web pages were just snappier. But I just all day long wish I could load web pages snappier. And so let's, um, let's put the two of them to a foot race and see how they do. Now, both of these guys are so that we could, we could eliminate any uncertainty that comes along with, uh, with the Internet. Uh, we have them, uh, we have the web pages fully loaded, and both of them are pulling it off of a server across over a router. So it's effectively like a controlled Internet experience. So can you show us now, please? And so this is on the left is the Nexus 10, and we're going through websites. Here's Amazon's website, CNN, uh, New York Times, and on the right is uh, Tegra 4. And we're cranking along. And these are, these are web pages that you see that you know, everybody uses on a daily basis. And um, uh, if, it's not, if it's not clear already, um, uh, the Tegra 4 is, uh, is um, uh, doing quite well. And so uh, it took about 27 seconds to load 25 unique web pages. And uh, uh, the Nexus 10, let's, let's uh, give it a chance here. Okay, there you go. 